Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight, and quick video, there was a question in the forum about how can I automatically clear my clipboard content, my clipboard manager, and what, he's, what, what the user I think was talking about was like this, our little clipman tool here, XFCE clip, clipman, and it stores things in your clipboard, you copy and paste, so that you can go back and pull the items out there. But what if you want to not have those around? There's a clear history function. If you remember to use it, it will do that. That's fine. I mean, that's one way to do it. But he was looking for something automatic. How can you automatically do this? Well, Clipman doesn't have that feature. Like I said, some some other clipboard managers might have, you know, delete on schedule or something like that. But, but, but Clipman doesn't. Clipman does allow you to not save its history from session to session, though. So it will, it will, it it can be set up so it only caches its clipboard in memory, and it doesn't save. It usually it, it saves a file to the cache, to the to the user's home directory cache. Uh, that stores those contents from history and reloads them the next time it starts up. But you can set it so it doesn't do that. But it still caches it in memory and, you know, what if you want to clear it? Now, a cron job is a pretty good idea for this. And cron's one of those things that's a little esoteric. People get nervous about cron because the syntax is nuts. It just It's just crazy. But it's not crazy with a little help. And I, I, let, I had Cron on the mind this week because Leo and Joe at uh, Linux User Space were talking a lot about Cron syntax and some Cron helper websites and different things. Um, it, this comes up on the Linux podcast every now and then, so th these are these are nice tools to have. What I'm going to show you is the one that comes built in with. Uh, MX, which is Job Scheduler. Now, we didn't originally make Job Scheduler. Job Scheduler existed for a while, but it was kind of abandoned, and we've kind of adopted the thing, and it's kind of a kooky little utility. So what we have here, this is my, this is, uh, I don't have a cron tab right now. I don't have any user-level crons, but um, Job Scheduler can uh, show you the, uh, jobs that are Pre already set up in cron. Now I don't have a user one, but you click this button here and you can go to the root one, to the root cron tab, and you can see there's several jobs in here that that are set up already. Anacron's the big one. Anacron's kind of a cron add-on that uh, if a job's missed, it will run at the next time the service starts up. It's nice if your computer's off when a job happens, but that's down the road. You can research that. Uh, so this. So you can have each each of users can have their own list of jobs. Now in Windows land, they used to call this kind of thing task scheduler. Um, this one's just kind of called job scheduler. I don't really care what you call it. The service in the back end is called cron. It makes a list of things that it's going to do on what's called a cron tab. There's a cron tab for each user, including the root user um, account. So I'm going to go back to the user one. This is nothing, and I'm gonna I'm gonna set up this a little quickie command that will start and restart XFCE4 Clipman, so that the clipboard contents get wiped on an hourly basis. So I'm gonna click do item, and I'm gonna use this time screen editor because I'm a little shaky on my cron uh, stuff. So I want a job to run hourly to wipe that. Board. Now I can use the hourly switch to set that up. I can also go through and set up a minute hour date kind of arrangement if I wanted. Let's say I wanted to run it on uh, the 30th minute, on the 11th hour, on any day that's the 23rd, that's in oh, February, why not? And this little jobber down here will tell us when those things are going to run. And you can see it's going to run later. It's not going to run. In fact, it's going to run a lot later because that's it, all those things have to have to have to happen. But all I want is an easy one. All I want is uh, hourly. And what hour is going to do up? It's going to run the command every hour on the hour. As we go, this is a countdown as to how much later those will 
those will be done. So I got my hourly, now I need my command. Now, unlike uh, Cron was originally set up to run tasks for system administrators uh, at a, in a command line type environment. So it actually has a hard time by default running an application like our clipboard manager without some extra variables. So I'm gonna put the command in. First off, I wanna kill, I wanna kill Clipman. And then I wanna pause, that's the end of the command, a pause line, and I want to restart Clipman, but I need, um, that's it. Uh, then I wanna restart Clipman. And I'm going to put an ampersand on it so that the task actually finishes and just doesn't hang there. Ampersand forks the process off from the parent process. Okay, so that's the command. But I need a couple extra variables because it doesn't know what display to push that off to. And so it'll, it'll kind of barf uh, a, a graphical command will. So we need the display variable. So we're going to add a variable. I'm going to, I'm going to shrink this just for a minute here. And I'm going to make a new variable. And that variable is going to be display, because I happen to know that's what the variable is. Oh, I don't know what my display is. No problem. We're going to open up the terminal and echo off our display number. Everybody should have one. And I'm going to cut and paste that because I am lazy. There we go. And that variable is in. You don't have to do anything. These variables will be here. It also knows my home path. It knows a couple of simple things for the shell and for the path to different applications. Okay, so that's done. Here it's going to give me a list of when it's going to happen on the command on the job list tab. And I'm going to save. Let's see here. Which one of these buttons is saved? The disk, obviously, is save. Okay, it's going to give us what the cron tab is actually going to look like. So if we typed it in terminal, it will it will give us the thing. It knows the display. It knows the stuff. Okay. And that's it. In one minute, these items that are in my clipboard are going to vanish. Clipband's going to going to going to stop, and it's going to restart. Uh, you can see what your cron tab looks like for your user just with the cron tab command and the dash l. The tag l will give you what the uh, whatever is in the cron tab. You can have lots of things in the cron tab. You can have lots of, of different commands and lots of different um, setups in there. This is just a simple one to start and restart the clipboard manager. And there we go. If you looked real close, you saw clipboard stop and start. And you can see my history is now empty. So that's how you can set up a cron job. You can do it for root user stuff, but I recommend staying off the don't launch your graphical applications with it. Stick to uh, simple commands at first until you get a handle on it. The If you get the time set up kind of kooky in the time string editor, I mean, it's a little weird, uh, but it, it will help you get that format in there. And you got the simple ones for daily, weekly, monthly, which is honestly are kind of my favorite for this kind of job rather than giving it a specific time. So that's setting up the job with Job Scheduler and hopefully answering a question for our friend in the forum. For tips, tricks, how to head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forums.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.